Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hacksmith inventions. Hulk smash! For this list, we're looking at the coolest and most inventive creations from this Canadian YouTuber and his crew. In addition to the invention's aesthetic, we'll be awarding bonus points for functionality. What do you think is James Hobson's best invention? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Stormbreaker To face off against Thanos, Thor, Rocket, and Groot travel to Nidavellir, where the King of the Dwarves forges the ultimate battle axe. In theory, it could even summon the Bifrost. Does it have a name? Stormbreaker. It might not be able to summon the Bifrost, but the Hacksmith's replica of Stormbreaker is pretty awesome nonetheless. As if building the hammer, blade, and handle wasn't impressive enough, this team went the extra mile by wrapping it in steel cable to resemble Groot's arm. In the end, the whole axe wound up weighing over 100 pounds. I think it was like at least 90, maybe 100 pounds before we added the steel cable. And I wouldn't be surprised if we added another 10, 15 pounds. I'm not even sure how much this weighs yet, but it's getting pretty hefty. So you may want to hit the gym before attempting to pick it up. Hacksmith made this bad boy for one thing and one thing only. Smashing stuff. Even when going up against Captain America's shield, Stormbreaker won't yield. Oh my god! <laughs> oh boy! Number 9. Electrified Wolverine Claws You don't need the X gene to experience the power of Wolverine's claws. It would have been one thing if the Hacksmith just made three aluminum elongated claws, but he improved upon his original invention in a subsequent video. By connecting the claws to a car battery, he was able to give them a sparky flare. Testing out his enhanced claws, Hacksmith rips through chicken wire and other metal objects with electrifying results. He even uses them to light up a cigar, which might be the most Wolverine thing ever. It's Hacksmith's willingness to take his work a step further that makes him a backyard engineer unlike any other. Man, I'm thirsty. We'll take these practical beauties over Wolverine's poorly generated claws in X-Men Origins any day. You're right in there. Yeah, I'm fine. Number 8. Doomfist. Hacksmith has recreated a few weapons from the game Overwatch, including Reinhardt's rocket hammer. If we had to choose a melee weapon from this franchise to take into battle, though, the Doomfist would be a top choice, especially after seeing Hacksmith's in action. Using a 3D Hulk Fist model, he whipped up some laser cut steel pieces and welded them together. Even after his crew added spikes to the knuckles, Hacksmith wasn't done. Taking six pneumatics and a power pack from an old exoskeleton, he gave the 33 pound Doomfist a little extra kick, or extra punch in this case. While not easy to lift, the Doomfist smashes quite well. You wouldn't want to be on the other side of a door when this heavy hitter comes a knocking. That's a pretty old TV. <sighs> they built them a lot stronger back then. Number 7. Kingsman Umbrella Gun The umbrella is packed with great technology, and just like any firearm, it has a safety. <laughs> if you turn it on. When it comes to crafting spy gadgets, Hacksmith is a regular Merlin. 20th Century Fox actually approached Hacksmith to see if he could make a Kingsman umbrella. He did not disappoint, starting off with a quality umbrella that could already do some serious melee damage. Removing the tip and modifying the shaft, Hacksmith fashions the umbrella into a blowgun with CO2 cartridges and a tire inflator. But how could you possibly give the umbrella a screen to see through? This is where Hacksmith gets inventive with a projector and a video cable. He even makes a custom handle that allows the umbrella to shoot and project images simultaneously. It's honestly probably one of the coolest things I've made so far. It's just so awesome being able to see through it, making it the perfect shield. It may not be bulletproof, but this creation hits a bullseye in our books. Number 6. Captain America's Electromagnetic Arm Bracer Anyone can go to a comic book shop and buy a plastic Captain America shield. Hacksmith is not just anyone, however. The good folks at Machina Props gave him a lovingly crafted replica of the iconic shield. Is that awesome? To truly feel like Cap, Hacksmith made an electromagnetic arm bracer to go with it. With this special arm bracer, the wearer can lift a wide variety of metal objects, including Cap's shield. Although the arm bracer cannot attract the shield from the same long distances shown in the movies, this is still probably the closest you can get to becoming Steve Rogers. As one of Hacksmith's most popular creations, 
He was inspired to up his game in another video with Cap's Wakandan shield. Number 5. Zarya's Particle Cannon Die, zombie, die! Well, we got a new eye socket. The Hacksmith team never ceases to amaze us, but they went above and beyond with this invention. While it's not exactly a particle accelerator like in Overwatch, the Hacksmith crew replicated the effect of an 80-watt CO2 laser tube. 3D printers were used to help give the cannon the same otherworldly aesthetic as Zarya's. Between the laser and 3D printer equipment, the project cost thousands of dollars. This wasn't just their most expensive project at the time, but also one of the most time-consuming, with Bogdan Malinovsky dedicating three months to its construction. It was worth the investment, though, as the final invention looked phenomenal and proved functional. Ooh. Not bad. This is really heavy. Number four, Tungsten Thor's Hammer. Whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Hathor. Thor's hammer has provided Hacksmith with no shortage of inspiration over the years. His team has made a lead-filled hammer and an electromagnetic one, but they outdid themselves with this Mjolnir replica. Where the lead-filled hammer weighed 73 pounds, they used scrap tungsten this time around. 22.7 pounds. Even with just the top of the lead, we're up to 22.7 pounds plus about 75 pounds, which means we're almost at 100 pounds. Since tungsten doesn't grow on trees, they spent thousands of dollars on the project. Their new hammer would weigh a whopping 114.4 pounds, and according to Hacksmith, is the heaviest one-to-one -one scale replica of Mjolnir. Oh, ah! <laughs> oh, 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 this fell over. Oh boy, that was close. I made that way farther than I thought I would. Although they didn't get Chris Hemsworth to wield this mighty hammer, they do plan on giving it to someone just as worthy. Half Thor Julius Bjornsson, also known as the Mountain from Game of Thrones. Fitting since the English translation of his name is Half Thor. You seem to be in good form. Who am I fighting? Does it matter? Number three, Iron Man's helmet. Given the Hacksmith's talent at creating impossible tech, it only makes sense that Tony Stark would inspire some of his inventions. Hacksmith purchased a few Iron Man helmet replicas from the Armor Factory. Since these helmets could already open, close, and light up, you wouldn't think there'd be much left to do. His crew made one helmet even cooler, however, by adding a heads-up display and a night vision camera. Oh, that's crazy! They also included a Raspberry Pi to give the helmet an AI companion. This is only the beginning, as Hacksmith plans to add a rear camera, OK Google, and other features. Throw in a full metal gauntlet, and Hacksmith is on his way to making Iron Man a reality. Like, no, you'd actually feel like Iron Man. You don't even need the full rest of the suit. All right, so I gotta quickly update some of the Python code on the camera script. Just gotta get those thrusters working. Number two, Batman's grappling hook gun. Like Iron Man, Batman is a superhero who could exist in the real world, with the right tools. Of all the items from Hacksmith's Becoming Batman series, the grappling gun is the one we want to get our hands on the most. All right, here's the completed launcher. The launcher itself uses expanding gases to fire the projectile, and we've also added a tack rail on the top so we can fit it with a laser sight. With a repelling hook, some rope, and a launcher, Hacksmith made a gadget worthy of the Dark Knight's utility belt. Shooting the grappling hook gun is one thing, but can Hacksmiths be used to zip line between buildings? Yes, it can, and that's not all this nifty gadget can do. Thanks to a few upgrades, Hacksmith's colleague Ian was able to scale a building. Given his love of practical effects, we bet Christopher Nolan would love one of these. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Fortnite Sword. They deserve a chicken dinner for this. <gasps> Rebar Crossbow from Half-Life. Gordon Freeman would be proud. All right, now it's time to test our highly experimental weapon for killing headcrabs. Uh, I mean zombies. I guess we gotta draw this first. Arc Reactor. Granted, not a real one, but still glows and looks cool. And we'll try and do a startup sequence. Doctor Strange spells. Science and magic are one and the same. Iron Man Repulsor, another small step to a full Iron Man suit. 
Wow! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. 4000 Degree Plasma Lightsaber We've just made the world's first retractable plasma-based lightsaber. There isn't a Star Wars fan who hasn't dreamed of wielding a lightsaber. From their original proto-saber to their 3,000-degree titanium lightsaber, the Force is strong with Hacksmith Industries. The latter even has a Kylo Ren iteration. Nevertheless, a lot of people were quick to comment that those weren't real lightsabers. With the 4,000-degree plasma lightsaber, though, Hacksmith can pretty much start calling himself a Jedi Knight. Let's try some everyday objects. I wonder what happens if I hit a window. That is freaking cool. Upping the ante from their previous builds, this lightsaber has a retractable blade, the ability to change colors, and a steampunk design. Technically, it's still a proto-saber with a power pack fueled by LPG. Yeah, let's see what happens at the door. Whoa! Holy! Even so, this is Hacksmith's best-looking lightsaber yet, not to mention the most powerful. It really puts those plastic sticks we grew up with to shame. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.